solar panels. That used to always mean big, bulky rectangles bolted to a roof or some other skyward facing platform. But in recent years, technology has given us another option. No, you aren't going to be able to power your entire house with it, but if you need to bug out and stay mobile, it's a way to stay powered. And what are we talking about powering? Well, there's the obvious flashlights, headlamps, night vision goggles, powered rifle scopes, and of course, two way and shortwave radios, as well as AM and FM. I mean, who knows how long important broadcasts will continue? Air America or Red State Talk Radio, depending on your political leanings. Wait, Air America is gone? Mm-hmm. They went bankrupt? Mm-hmm. Of course they did. The not so obvious? Consider, in the era of the internet, virtually the entire catalog of human knowledge from the dawn of history is accessible to anyone with a computer. And most people use it to look at funny cat videos and argue with strangers. Your videos suck! But while it's a foregone conclusion that by day 35, the internet will have ceased to exist, the digital age has also given us the ability to store relatively massive amounts of information in very small spaces. An entire library's worth of survival guides, encyclopedias of edible plants, how to clean a kill, medical books, maps, DIY and how-to manuals, like those detailed plans of how to build that gasifier engine, or a mini Pelton wheel electrical generator, can all be downloaded and kept in a space no larger than this. Beats trying to carry all those books, and save space for other necessities, like bullets. The upshot, like your night vision goggles and red dot scope, you need to be able to power an e-reader, tablet, phone, whatever you have. Since carrying a crap load of batteries isn't very efficient, that is where mini solar comes in. Now one incarnation of this concept is the solar backpack. To be sure, these things were designed mostly for people who want to get away from it all, but still feel the need to take it all with them. So if you love the great outdoors, but can't bear to miss Snooky's latest tweet about baby Lorenzo, these work pretty well at keeping your digital devices charged. But there are other systems that offer not only more power, but are more flexible and more scalable as well. So we here at the workshop, we use Goal Zero products. There's many others out there that all do basically the same thing, but it's a modular system. Small, compact, foldable solar panel that powers a miniature power pack. Now this can recharge AA batteries, AAA batteries, has its own USB out as well as a light. The solar panel itself has a USB out as well as 12 volts out which can power most anything that can be plugged into a car. All chargeable with this compact solar panel. So this provides about seven watts of power, but you might need more. We can go up to this one, 13 and a half watts. Double the size, almost double the power, but we also can go bigger. This one will take you up to 27 watts of power. And they're all chainable. You can link them together to get a total of almost 50 watts of power. So, what do we do with all this power? We can charge the double A's up, that's fine, but you might need more power. This has about 150 watt hours of power and includes an inverter delivering 110 voltage. We can even go bigger, 350 watt hours of power. That, add on another inverter and you've got 400 watts of wall power, can charge just about anything. Now, obviously, these big batteries are not ideal for a bug out situation, but for a bug in situation, this is exactly what you need. Plenty of power and an inverter that will supply 110 AC. Now when it comes to lighting, AC power off a 12 volt DC battery is not the way to go. The inverter, terribly inefficient. What you want to do is shut that off and use 12 volt DC power and LED lighting. Much more efficient, just as bright and last 10 times as long. Now for the bug out situation, you'll probably be using the slightest solar pack. The DC LED options for this include a work light, which you can use for map reading, cooking, cleaning guns, etc. Also, there's a wider area light for lighting up to a tent, campsite, work area, whatever you need. The battery pack itself even includes a built-in flashlight. Now we have to add that if you have the space, it still wouldn't be a bad idea to keep paper backups of your most critical information. Because an EMP type event or attack would in theory fry most, if not all, electronic devices. And all this then becomes useless. 
Truth be told, there are no foolproof solutions. But who knows how we'll all go down, or which tools will turn out to be the most valuable. But your best bet is to have as many tools in your zombie apocalypse survival toolbox as you possibly can. I say.